And we're back. Well, for the first time, police in Nassau County are installing surveillance cameras, starting with the sprawling Massapequa Preserve. It's the scene of several unnerving incidents in the past year. TV 1055's Carolyn Gussoff explains. A wooded oasis, the Massapequa Preserve is a year-round magnet for joggers, bikers, and families. But park goers say lately they watch their backs. I quit walking that side because what's going on over there? So people are on edge. Yeah. Your guard is down and you're relaxing out here and all of a sudden who knows who a crazy person's coming out of the bushes. But if people are afraid to be in the preserve, that's a major problem. And we want to make sure that they stay safe. Nassau police now responding with more than just added patrols. They've installed a network of security cameras in and around the 400 acre preserve. Some obvious, others hidden. We will not give those locations. We're not giving the bad guy an education on what we're doing. Um, but the message is to be sent today to the bad guys that we are watching. The launch comes months after the body of a murdered teen was found here. And a rash of flasher incidents, three men exposed themselves to frightened women like this one. He starts to, you know, eye me up and down and, you know, look me around and really maintain this very aggressive, um, creepy eye contact with me. Police monitored surveillance cameras were rolled out in New York City parks nearly a decade ago, but they've been slow to come to the suburbs. This is their debut here in Nassau County, and more county parks will follow. Cameras placed in the village portion of the preserve recently helped nab this man who spray-painted swastikas inside. Bottom line, cameras work. And they beware, we have them. Obviously, police say they can't jump out of a camera to make an arrest, but the videotape, recording day and night, will boost their ability to deter and solve crimes. In the Massapequa Preserve, Carolyn Gussoff, TV 1055. Now, the camera rollout costs $50,000. It's funded by the Nassau legislature, each camera costing about $2,000. When we return, it's called the Sidewalk to Nowhere, and it has pedestrians risking their lives every day.